Oh, we have an actuator motor, and we're going to go through troubleshooting. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to plug it in. Okay, and we're going to see whether or not that valve actually moves. As we can see, it's not moving. That little dial which says auto, auto and open. It's not on open. So, now a couple of things go wrong. One is the plug itself right here could have a bad connection. A turn, hold on, pull that terminal apart so we can see it. Could have a bad a connection. Okay, neither one. If you check that and the connections are fine, then you want to confirm your reading over at the the Y nuts and you have to find the metal to make sure it's in there and play with it a little bit see if you get reading on your voltmeter you're on there, it's just that it's probably not off. No, is it off? Yeah. okay so you got voltage okay so now there's voltage to it so you know that the motor itself which is right Should here running. has voltage mm -hmm. but it's not running so if you look at the back of it, the back side, you'll see a notch, point to the notch, which is right inside of here, mm -hmm. and, that, and that should spin. As you can see, it's not spinning. So that means that it's not moving, yet the motor feels hot. So if we look at the side of it, if we look, you'll see that the gear, point to it, Julio, you see that the, the gear itself is spinning. But the other part's not moving. Now, what's been happening in a lot of our rooms as we go in, okay, we're able to then say, okay, it's not moving, and we're able, and we just move it along by hand, and all of a sudden it catches, it catches thread, and it starts to spin. But what's happening is that you, you might have to shine your light on that because you can't see it with the flashlight. It's missing. But what we're noticing is the threads are stripped, so it has no traction and it starts up, so once, once it's open, it opens and water flows until the thermostat is satisfied, and when it's satisfied it closes back up, and that gear is sitting exactly where the threads uh, are missing, so that motor just spins. So when it calls, when the thermostat calls for cooling again, it does the same thing. It just spins around. As you can see, there's no traction until we go and help them, help it along. And as soon as we do, missing, it catches miss, traction. Right there track. is missing the missing track. threads. Right here. So this is the reason why um, we're we manually open these things by hand and they're staying open and they work for a while. Then we end up going back and getting callbacks. Mm -hmm. So it's key that if you're opening these things by hand, they do work as you check the thread. And more than likely, you're going to find that the threads are no good. And, uh, we got a total, and we've no got good. three of them. And we checked all three, and they're all the same thing, right, Julio? Got problems with the threads on all of them? Yeah, good. Yeah, it looks like this one, too. Fridge, yeah. you know. Same thing. Same thing. It's, it's missing. Okay. It's missing the thread. So, conclusion is, if you have an actuator motor that's not working, you have to open it by hand. Check the threads, and if they're worn, go ahead and replace it. Missing.